Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to update your Windows 11 to version 25H2 because of this error code that is 0x800F081F. To fix it, the first step is to, when you, when the updates fail, uh, if you see retry option, hit retry and then check if that does not work. Restart your computer and after the system restart, try to update. Still not working. The next step is to pause and restart the update. So go to Windows update. And then over here you can see pause update, hit pause. And once pause, hit resume updates. And once it is done, now you can check. Now it's still not working. The next step is to start these services. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK and then make a right click on app readiness click on restart now find windows update scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a right click click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. And then again make a right click and then click on restart. Now once done, now you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use uh, run this command. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Copy the first command, paste it, hit the enter key. Now this will run a scan and this will take some time. And once the scan is 100% complete, run the second command and paste it over here. Once the second scan is 100% complete, copy the third command, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Once the third scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. For this, you can go to Microsoft website that the link is provided in the video description. Here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And if there is any option to update now or install now, you can do that and then check and then restart your computer. Still not working. You can use fix problems, uh, fix problems using Windows Update option. Now for this, open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update, Advanced option. Click on Recovery option. Here you can see fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on Reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is done, restart your computer, and then you will see the repair version of version. 2 for H2. And once this is done, now you can try to update your Windows 11 to version 2.5 H2 and then check. Still not working. The last step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download now and then run the CXE file. Now once you run the, run the exe file, click on accept over here. By default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file over here and then you can save it to desktop. Let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once this is complete, you can click on finish and let it close automatically. It will take few seconds or maybe a minute to close. Then go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file. Then make a double click on uh, and then run the setup file. Click on yes to allow. Click on next. Click on accept. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked over here. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation, log into the computer and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your Windows 11 to version 25H2. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.